That's my YouTube channel there. If you want to check it out. Canadian Camote Rider. What the? What's up you guys? I'm excited to get into this thing now. Yeah, I want to tackle the oil pan now. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's go. First and foremost, I'm gonna move the bike over and then I'm gonna put some cardboard underneath it. Maybe we'll put some light or something for you guys. Hopefully that, that works. like that. I'm gonna show you guys something to do when you're doing this kind of stuff, taking bolts out like that. So when you're doing stuff like this, uh, it's a good idea to take a piece of cardboard. Kind of want to have like a pattern, right, of the oil pan and where the bolts go. That's the key part right here is the bolt pattern, like what bolt goes in what hole. So I'm gonna cut a piece of cardboard and then we're gonna cut this out. And you take your gasket. So, just uh, where all the bull holes are, you know, and then make a punch, punch a hole through, but then you know exactly where they go. Because, like I said, sometimes when you're taking this, these kind of things out, sometimes uh, one bolt's longer than the other, and you're not going to remember. You puck! Okay, so you got something like this. Hopefully, you can see this, get the idea. You might, somebody might be like, oh, I don't need to do that. Yeah, okay. And you just gotta start mixing bolts around and it's all frustrating. You'll thank me then. I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> I learned the hard way, so I'm passing the info on. Hopefully somebody else doesn't have to go through the same. <laughs> okay, tapo snap. We got this. All right, let's start taking this oil pan off. Alrighty. So. Just crack them all loose for to start. Actually, check to make sure. <laughs> I learned that the hard way too. There we go. Just crack it loose. I just go around and kind of loosen them evenly. It's mostly the, you know, just letting it, the tension off of it evenly, right? All right, so we got our template. We know there's one way back here somewhere, which I can feel. You guys aren't gonna be able to see. So I'll take that one out. There we go. And that goes in there. All right, so let's go to this top corner here. Pull this one out. All right, so top corner. I don't know if some were longer or shorter in this thing. I don't know, but I didn't want to take the chance. So it's a good practice to do that. So I'm trying to trying to stress to you. <laughs> so I'll get this corner. Let's get the back ones over here that I can't see. There's one more back one here. We might as well get that out now. So the back's free. There, so we got one more there. These two here, so we get this back one off. So we got these two and these three. So let's take this uh, middle one out. Oh Lord, not a fucking young buck anymore. <laughs> Paint this fucker up. Now this was a fucking some. Aftermarket fucking cover I found out. Woodcraft. I don't know if you can make that out see that. Woodcraft. But yeah, it's a fucking nice aluminum fucking aftermarket uh, cover. It's really nice. I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to this. Sorry, I'm not answering the text right now. 
We're getting, we're, we're getting progress done here. We got a fucking oil pan hanging. It's gonna have to wait. Sorry, whoever it is. That is over here. What am I doing? So we got two left. Come on, come on, halikana, halikana. Come on. That one, one more. One more, guys. Here we go. Woo, doggy. I can't fucking wait. There we go. Last bolt. You ready for the big reveal? I am. Here we go. Oil in there. I'm gonna use this camera. Huh. Oh, now I can see a bit. There's all the gears. I hope this is turning out good. That's the pump, the oil pump. Huh. Shifter drum. Everything, everything looks good to me. I, I can see that. Is that the connecting rods? Oh shit, the other flashlights up there. Yeah, well, they're looking good. Alrighty. Oh. Where's the gasket? Oh, it's still here. Okay. I'm gonna have to clean all that up. Alright. Let's get this gasket out of here. Nice and easy. Now we got some cleaning to do. That means we gotta open this window up. So let's, uh, Let's get this prepped and going. Never put a gasket on it without prepping it first, cleaning it up. So on top of doing that, I want to uh, give the inside a little general wiping and whatever. Get any dust or any particles or you gotta think this is your oil going here, right? Yeah, it goes through a filter and stuff, but at the same time, you don't want a bunch of fucking shit, little grits of sand or whatever from, you know, was ever in the air at the shop where this came from. You don't know, right? See, look at all that shit came off. That was clean. That would have been going in your motor. Usually if a company's really good or nice or whatever, they'll run the part through a parts cleaner and then package it up and ship it to you. Sure, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Start putting a thin bead of this stuff and then we'll spread it out and get it all the way around all these holes and go with the time lapse. Just putting a very thin coat, you know, see, uh, I can still see through it kind of, you know. I don't gotta be heavy with this stuff, heavy handed. Put it on thick because when you put it on too thick then it starts squeezing inside here and you that's you don't want that so just put it a little tiny bit i don't know it may look, i don't know what it looks like on camera but it's not if it looks like there's lots there's not <laughs> so you just put a little bit and then you spread it out it's a little bit thick there but not too much that we can't fix there we go makes a nice seal I don't like leaks it drives me nuts all right so we'll put some more of this <coughs> holy Christ 
standing right over it, that's why. <coughs> Holy fuck. <coughs> Jesus. Ever since the first time I used this stuff, I've been nothing but happy with it. And I've had happy results. Just follow the directions, and it works every time. I'll tell you that much. I think it said on the package someone voted in a gasoline application. If it's something that comes in contact with gasoline, then it's not recommended or something like that. But this is oil, and I've used it on oil before, and it's fine. And there we go. Now she's ready. So, take her gasket and we shall lay it on. Oh, easy there, tiger. Get everything in the position here. And there we go. Okay, so let's uh, get going to putting this back on. Alrighty, so we'll get this in there and we'll get it uh, just torqued up hand tight. Then we'll torque her down to spec. See how handy this is now? Front middle. Alrighty. We'll get this back one. If I can find it, there it is. Can't find the hole. There, now it's holding it. See, I don't have to fucking hold it now. So we'll get this on here. I looked up the torque spec. Uh, I can't remember it now off the top of my head. So, we'll, uh, once I get these in, oh, you guys fell down again. Once I get these in hand tight, then, uh, then we'll go have a look. Look at the book. Look at the book. This back one. Yeah, so this is where it broke. Somewhere along here. You'll see in a second. Uh, well, not in a second. You'll see I uh, where I put the JB Weld. And I'm like 90% sure if I just found the rest of the crack and I JB Welded it, I'm sure the oil pan would be totally fine. Oh. So happy to fix this. I'll never forget that day it happened. I was rushing around and I just changed the oil and fucking I was rushing because I was going somewhere or doing something. I can't even remember. And I know I set the torque wrench right, so whatever. It's done now, so. And now we got a fucking new one. Alrighty, last fucking one. Hell yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. Okay, so we gotta wait an hour now. I don't know where the hell my phone is so I can see what time it is. Oh, I got a fucking clock here, bubble. 10 to 12, so let's just say 12, so one o'clock. One o'clock and then we'll torque her down. I guess I should close this fucking window now, Jesus. Got some natural light. Fucking snowed again. Go away, fuck. Oh, see, I just fucking shoveled it again. Fuck me, man. Piling up the side of the shed. We got the oil pan installed, guys. <laughs> it's been a long, long process and a uh, little bit of fucking work and ingenuity, but uh, we got her done. So, uh, what else? I mean, I gotta set that back tire, that axle's loose. We gotta adjust the chain. One o'clock, it's been an hour now. We're gonna tighten up the oil pan now to the torque specs. And I looked it up, I'm trying to remember. I think this one was 10 Newton meters also. Oh, uh, some bolts. Yeah, see, 10 Newton meters. So I've already gotten my torque wrench, I already set it. I got the socket and all that. Uh, put the camera under there so it's facing up to get a view that way. So just tighten it a, a little bit and then crisscross it. Gotta try to torque it down right now. All right, we got that done, thank God. I myself personally, like it says, uh, you know, let it fully cure before you put any fluids or whatever. 
So I let it go 24 hours. That's always worked for me. Uh, sit overnight. 